Raw Status TV, welcome to our new subscriber. So this must be put to bed once and for all. No, Tom Brady is not the best football player of all time. That was one of the main things that we caught from Skip Bayless's little strategy, his low blow, the attack on Shannon Sharp. Now Shannon really looked confused. We're going to explain how this could be all connected to the corporate sports machine, the suspected white supremacist corporate sports controlled media. Shannon Sharp, rough week, dragged by both sides. A lot of people are kind of throwing it back in his face like, yeah, you know, you threw the black community under the bus in your non-support of Kyrie Irving, not saying that you had to support him, but the extra, the butt kissing, the Larry Bird was my favorite player. Though that white chick that was a assistant coach for the San Antonio Spurs is similar to Jackie Robinson. The Miles Garrett hitting that white quarterback from Pittsburgh with a helmet was just like police brutality. You know, you're doing a lot of kissing up to the white machine and it came back to bite you. You see, what he didn't understand about white supremacists is they wait until you pledge them allegiance and then they attack because you have no one there to back you up. Cowardice is their mode of operation. Hit that thumbs up. So we're going to get deeper into this. Shannon Sharp, Skip Bayless, their show, Skip and Shannon. Now, Skip Bayless is one of these, what I believe to be a jealous, classic white supremacist, has learned to exist and to find those that he deems to be susceptible to his white supremacist rich witchcraft. Now, that low blow, that shot is what he does. He is there to verbally break down the black athlete because he cannot physically stop the black athlete. The best player of all time. Please, Jim Brown, Lawrence Taylor, Ray Lewis, Jerry Rice, Bernie, Barry Sanders, I'm going to say Bernie, Walter, Payton. This list can go on and on. I've even written down more. That's just some things that you can look up. Terrell Davis, Terrell Owens, even Tom Brady had two of the best tight ends to ever play the game on his team and Rob Gronkowski and Aaron Hernandez. So first of all, the football side of that is put to bed off top. If you want to argue best quarterback, go ahead. But best football player, you're saying a lot because there's a lot more to take into account. Not getting a favorable call in that Raiders game that sent, that sent you to the Super Bowl in the first place. The tuck rule. Not that suspicious game up in Seattle where the Seahawks were literally on the goal line or somewhere close on the three-yard line or something like that. And all of a sudden, an INT is thrown, point blank. Real suspicious. Beast Mode didn't even talk after the game. Thumbs up. But what's really going on with Skip Bayless? You see, they must have their great hype. They must have their golden boy. They need a Jesus Christ in the modern day sense. Now that Tom Brady is on the other side of 40, not what he used to be, they need somebody to blame. What better than the all-black coaching staff, or at least the head coach and the offensive coordinator, in Todd Bowles and Byron Leftwich. His statements about Leftwich were very suspicious. Stunk like white supremacy, almost like he probably stinks like a wet dog. I don't understand how Shannon can be in the studio with that little mutt. Smelling like the Beverly Hills Humane Society kennel. Hit that thumbs up. Just all type of mayonnaise sandwiches and Waldorf chicken with apples in it. Please, Shannon, tell me you've never gone over to this devil's house to eat. That's just my opinion. So Tom Brady is his guy. Now, we have reason to believe that some of these corporate talking heads are actually paid by certain teams. That's how it works in the game. You pay off yourself a writer. You pay off somebody with a talking head and they'll talk favorably about you. I don't know if that's going on here. I'm not saying that it is. This might just be sheer the wantingness, the burningness, the burning inside of Skip Bayless's chest to be better than the black guys. Was not good at sports at all. Wished he could play sports. So he lives vicariously through athletes who get benefits from referees and from deflated footballs and from recording play signals like allegedly possibly Tom Brady did. Like we know that he did with the text messages from the ball boy. 
Saying that the Patriots cheated is like saying that the Utah Jazz cheated. There's some things you just already know. So now that Tom Brady has passed his years where he shined, the glory days long behind him. He's been throwing INTs and stinking up the joint for a long time. Now they want to blame it on Todd Bowles and Byron Leftwich. Him saying that Tom Brady knows more football than Byron Leftwich. That was the classic old, the white guy is smarter than the black guy. You see, Skip Bayless is a hardcore suspected white supremacist. He makes a lot of white supremacist moves. But somebody like Shannon Sharp still believes that if he's nice and does a good job and coming from the old school, you know, getting a job with them, that that was somehow protecting. But he didn't see that move coming. And again, after the suspicious soft shoeing moves that he was doing, some people say that it served him right. I'm not one of those, but that's the way that it goes. Sometimes it comes back to you. Have you learned nothing? There really are no wins when you're shuffling. But to say that that he's better than Deion Sanders, he, meaning Tom Brady, You couldn't even pass to the side of the field that Deion Sanders was on. No matter where he was, he would close ground in ridiculous speed and pick the ball off. Ray Lewis. I remember Ray Lewis. That was the only time I've ever seen a defense that could score points just like an offense. You could count on the Ravens Ravens defense scoring points because of Ray Lewis. They might get you 14 or 21 points. Their defense alone. Tom Brady. Was a late round, six round draft pick. Tom Brady. If you want to say he's the best quarterback to do it, but the best football player, no. So Shannon Sharp, if you've carefully watched this show, doesn't really take it to that level. And it kind of seems that that's the way that he's made his living and that that's the way that he's become successful. Kissing up, taking the brunt of the abuse, sitting there agreeing with and acting like it's always sad when you watch that show because Shannon Sharp always tries to be logical and open minded and tries to be fair. And he's heavy handed when it comes to the black athlete. But Skip Bayless will defend, defend, defend until the end. Don't forget Skip Bayless was the same guy that was okay with Bill Romanowski breaking a black player's orbital bone by hitting him with a helmet in practice. If that wasn't roid rage, I don't know what was. Skip Bayless is always down to try to create a false sense of winning for him and his apparent low self-esteem for being a little scrawny white dude that just doesn't have the God-given nature, given universally, given genetics that the black athlete has, and he knows nothing he can do short of marrying a black woman maybe could ever cure that. But he's married to that Frankenstein-looking woman. Raw Status TV. So there's two things going on here. There's an incorrect football argument. And there's also... The ongoing war that is carried out by the white supremacist sports controlled media that we will get deeper into that subject on how negative energy is used as a weapon against the black athlete. That media is much more powerful than you think. It causes problems. Don't forget, hit that thumbs up. Ask Maurice Claret. The black coaches in Tampa Bay. Now, all of a sudden, according to Skip Bayless, who's going to start something here? And this will permeate. Don't forget, they go on alert. They understand that the quarterback position is going to be taken over by black quarterbacks. So they want to create. They also understand the 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 optics of the NFL. And the physically dominant black man that cannot be stopped on any level, including the quarterback position, whether it's thinking or physical play. Tom Brady. Had some great years, but got a lot of help from the media. Let me know what you think. What other players would you add to this list? Randy Moss. 
Mike Vick, Ronnie Lott, Bo Jackson. Bo Jackson, are you kidding me? I didn't even bring up Bo Jackson. Marcus Allen, well, best of all time, Deion Sanders, Ray, Ray Lewis, Peyton, Steph. I don't know, you tell me. Tell me.